Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing well and staying safe. My name is Angel Liu. I'm a 2A CS student and my pronouns are she, her. Really happy that all of you are joining us at the University of Waterloo this coming fall. Now without further ado, let's get started with navigating Learn. So you would want to go to learn.waterloo.ca and where you will be prompted to type in your New Waterloo email as well as password. And then after that, um, there is a two-factor authentication, authentication um, app that you will need to use uh, often. It's recommended that you use the Duo mobile app in order to send yourself a push notification, which you will then press uh, here uh, and then press in order to head in. And after that, you will go to your own homepage where you can see a list of all of the courses that you are registered or enrolled in, as well as um, a collection of the newest announcements from all your classes. So two of the courses that I have taken in the past term are CS 245 and PD 11. So this one being a second year CS course and this one being a professional development course, uh, which those young couple will need to take. So Clicking on one of your courses, you will be led to the home page where you will see the latest announcements about deadlines, uh, opportunities, as well as other important information. And uh, also note that not all of your professors will necessarily be using Learn. Some may choose to use other platforms. So uh, always be sure to check your emails for uh, different updates. So. Within a course page, you'll have the course home, where we are now, as well as the contents um, tab. And clicking on the table of contents on the side will give you um, all of the links and materials that have been posted for the class. And they're usually split into sections. So personally, for this course, it was split into course information. Uh, where, so where lots of other courses may have similar sections, um, we'll have a similar section with things such as course outline, um, information about office hours perhaps. And then there will usually also be a lectures section where um, the videos and or slideshows of your lectures will be posted. Here it was um, split into subsections based on the different weeks and for and as well uh, often assignments uh, will be posted on learn though it of course differs by class and uh, we also have tutorials and quizzes as well as information about assessments posted here under the content section and here's a quick link to the course schedule where you will often see the deadlines that are scheduled today, tomorrow, next seven days, et cetera, as well as the full schedule. So here's an example of different um, due dates that um, is present in the schedule. And under the grade tabs, you will see your grades when your professors post them um, under connect. Um, also some other functions that I will show you in detail in P11. So clicking here, you can see a list of all our other courses. And then here I've jumped to P11 where we actually use the discussions um, a bit, the discussion section a bit more. And we would have different topics uh, where we could post things and reply to others posts. Um, and then here was actually where the majority of our assignments were done. It was through a discussion. Uh, we were put in groups with others in order to do so. 
another section that's often useful is the groups section where you can see different group members that are in the group as you have favorite projects um, or other similar purposes. And for submit, uh, there is this Dropbox uh, section where you click on the title of your assignment in order to upload a file from your computer for that assignment. And as well, a list of quizzes that you can submit are also available here so that you can click on them and go to your quiz. Um, there are some other options that you can further explore on your own, though we have, uh, though we rarely use them. And then another one that might be worth mentioning is the virtual classroom one, where um, professors and instructors may choose to host offline tutorials there. There's a list uh, of resources for, um, that are specific to each course, and as well as help with that are often available. And if we go to our home page again, by clicking in the top left corner, I have a list of UW resources that might be worth taking a look at. Um, as well, here are some, um, clicking on your name, you can make edits to your profile, notification, account settings, and see your progress for different courses. Here's going to be an updates alert button with a list of um, all announcements, great updates, Center update. Um, here, subscription, you can subscribe to different discussion topics where you will get uh, notifications for them. And lastly, messages uh, that you can use to message your peers and instructors. And lastly, pressing the logout button will ensure that you are safely logged out. Um, and as well, be sure to exit your web browser at the very end. So that is it for today. Uh, I wish everyone the best luck to their studies.